So the lady said, Doctor, that's a very serious operation. I want a second opinion. He said, all right, you're also very ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ramon, Ramon, sleeping, sleeping. <laughs> you hit him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, are you crazy? Jesus Christ, who taught you to drive? Evil can evil? Relax, honey, I thought I saw something back in there. So what? Well, there might be something coming down. Yeah, you mean like trouble, which we don't need. Hey, go on. Hey, wait, hey, wait. American, talk American, Raymond. You have a constitutional right to remain silent. You need not make any statements if you do not wish to do so. If you talk to me anything.
Well, Mama, you're looking good in your clothes. That doesn't help the heat in here. I was supposed to take my kids to the dolphin game. Instead, I gotta do this shit. I love Cuban food. Ernie, I believe you'd be better off eating one of these cigars. <laughs> hey, Ernie. What? Look at that dude behind the car. Don't he look suspicious to you? Look at it. The trick is find somebody who doesn't look suspicious. No, no, kid, look. I don't want to look. I don't want to see. I just want to eat. Leave me alone. Now, what would a nerd like him be doing with a guitar like that? He plays first string with the New York Philharmonic. Sure he does. You don't mind, I'm gonna check it out. Oh, no. What about lunch? Let it be, let it be! Uh, hey, buddy. I want to talk to you. I'm a police officer. What'd I tell you, Ernie? Come on! 46 more days till I return. I gotta do this. <laughs> minute you don't understand. Up against the wall. Lady, you're making a mistake. Will you let me explain? One more word, and I'm going to blow your head off. Please, Oh, Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. You, you, you don't understand. Up against the wall. Well, wait, you're making a mistake. Would you just let One me... One more word, I'll blow your head off. Uh, folks, any of you see a man with a guitar? Uh, no, no, the gun. Don't worry about the gun. I'm a, a police officer. Ex excuse me. Uh... Hi, fellas. <laughs> hey, I am very sorry. Forget it. Doug, you're never gonna believe this. No kid. You know, I've got to compliment you guys. I mean, you're really heroes. Busting two guys armed with a 45 caliber guitar. Mm -hmm. I'd say yes. <laughs> well, you got him on the street again. <laughs> You'll get used to it. Look, every time we bring some in, the court turns them loose, burns my ass. You know what burns my ass? What? Flame this high. Pero que tipo más bruto es? Mi abuelita sabe más de ley que ese district attorney. Another triumph, huh? They throw it out without me even going to court to testify. I'm telling you, I had it all. Witnesses, stolen goods, uh, property reports, fingerprints. I had it all. I had it all. Si ese tipo se cae en cuatro patas, come hierba. Well, how about some donuts? Huh? Want a donut? Justice, that's what I want. I want justice. I'm buying. Ernie. You want a donut? I'd rather have the money instead. Oh, Jesus. Um, hello again. My, my, in the opening. How you doing, gunslinger? Who'd you shoot today? A guy with the tuba? <laughs> uh, can I help you? 
I'm here to meet Gavin Guyberger. He'll be here any minute. My name is Ramon. Very nice. Well, my name is Louise. And I'm nice, too. Boys, burglary task force is about to be flushed down the crapper. Hello, Sergeant. Captain. Uh, this is Sergeant Louise Webster, who has just been assigned to help you gentlemen screw up what might be your last few remaining days together. Sure it has. Uh, wait a minute, John. What are you talking about? Because of our low rate of convictions, they're cutting off our funds. You mean we're going to be reassigned? That's right. All of us. Narcotics, Metro... And 45 more days till I retire, and they think I'm going to get wasted by some doper? No way. No friggin' way. It's not fair. I mean, we arrest them, they let them go. Lock up those liberal judges. Why don't you just type that up in triplicate, and I'll submit it upstairs. Well, guys, it's certainly been a pleasure working with you. What? Come here, come to death. Come here, come on, you poor thing on. David, come here. Oh, poor kid. I'll kiss it and make it better. Where does it hurt? Maybe I won't kiss it. Hey, you think it's funny? No. You comfort him. You broke his ass. Here. Go to him. Go to him. It's never you. I know. <laughs> Kids. Two years we worked together. We were supposed to be the first federally funded anything that succeeded. But we failed. Oh, Ramon, those programs are designed to fail. That's a shame. That's such a shame. Hey, does it make any difference to me? 44 more days, I am out. Sure, that's fine for you, short <laughs> timer. But what about us? Hey, I'm warning you guys. I don't care if we do have company. Knock it off. What do you mean, what about you? 20 years of your life, and you get a pension. That's what you get. You want an apple? It's a shame Doug couldn't be here. And what will it, Doug, get? He's working nights. Come here. Irving's pregnant. I'm A. I'm a legitimate businessman. Oh, it's you. Irving, put it down. I'll be right over there. With the cow, Irving. A hernia. Always in my way. Another typewriter. It's not even electric. It's a collector's item. Brands on steam. Worth a lot of money. Antique. The Magna Carta was typed up on it. Put an ad in the paper. Finsky tops. At least give me a buck for every key that works. Four bucks. It was just five. The older it gets, the less it's worth. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. Hello, Irving. Hiya, Doug. Hmm. Oh, it's a boy. Oh, how is the wife? Well, fine. She'll be out next month. Shame you won't be here to see her. <laughs> Doug, what are you doing here? You can't bust in here. Where's your warrant? How about possession of stolen property? No! I'm a legitimate businessman. I mean, I shouldn't even read you your rights. You know them better than I do by now. <laughs> Business as usual. Hi, Jaime. Hi. Busy? Just one of those days. Look what I got. Oh, you, I'm glad you showed up. Why didn't you take a group photo of the three of us? <laughs> How much? Clifford, I can't use them. Ah, uh, I can use them. Where'd you get them? You can. No, I'm not kidding. How much more for them? A hundred, they knew. Where'd you steal them? On Collins. Oh, boy. Well, I'm in a hotel. Hotel? Will they have a name? Winslow, anything else? Yeah. What? You're under arrest. Hey. Doc, I'll cooperate and squeal on everybody. Me too. Quiet, I'm thinking. Leave him alone. He's thinking. Hank, I want the fat and buried. But, but I'm not a well man. Who cares? I mean, we bust him, and then the courts let him go, right? But 
My way, John, I'll guarantee you a conviction. Okay, let's hear. All right, what we do is we set ourselves up as fences. We open our own stolen goods operation. You want the police to buy stolen goods? Exactly. Why don't we get into rape? Rape is good. Rape is very good. Ramon hasn't gotten laid all week. Besides, it would clear up his complexion. Doug, it's a very stupid idea. Why? Because it hasn't been done before. It was worth doing. Someone else would have done it. Look, what we do is we take over Jaime Stiglitz's pawn shop. We're the fences. They come to us. The crooks come to us. That's entrapment. Penal code 12-022, section 5. Horse shit. The crime happens before we ever bust anybody. I check with legal. You realize what you're letting yourself in for? You antagonize the mob. You're asking to be hit. We pretend we're mafia. That's a good idea. You can practice by riding around the trunk of my car for a month. Doug, we still have $32,452 left. See, there's even more than I thought. So why waste that money buying information? Let's just buy stolen goods. John, it sounds good. The bureau commander's not going to go for that. You don't take it to him. You take it to the chief, direct. If the department does not know what's going on, it won't leak out on the street. The minute you make your first bust, somebody will know. We put it on film! Tape. Tape. Videotape. Oh. So now you're all in on it, huh? I mean, what you would have is something that's never been done before. Guaranteed to cut through the bureaucratic bullshit. I mean, you'd have no plea bargaining, no lack of evidence, no overcrowded court calendars. And they'd incriminate themselves on instant replay, and they'd have to be adjudicated with substantial penalty. Now, look, I won't promise you anything, but I will take it to the chief direct. That's great. Louise, I owe you one. Oh, poor shit. What, boys? Hey, game, the captain wants to see us. Where's Ernie? In there. Come on. Hey, Ernie, captain wants to see us. What's the matter? What's going on? Jeez, don't get no privacy around here. The chief is willing to go along. All right. Excuse me. Now, I want records kept of each buy. I want to know where every penny goes. Leave it to me, Captain. And remember, you're on your own. If the department or the papers get any wind of this whatsoever, the chief will deny any knowledge of it, and so will I. In other words, you're putting our ass in a sling. Exactly. Hmm? <laughs> 42 days left. If my pension gets Quit screwed up, I've got to your damn old pension. What are you going to do when you retire? You don't enjoy anything anyway. I enjoy that. Hey. You guys, you can't put me down here. I'm honest. I'm a citizen. I want a phone. I want a lawyer. I have my rights. What rights? You have no rights. I have rights. You can't keep me here. We're doing it. You can't. But, Jaime, there's a way out. If you cooperate. I'll cooperate. How? All right, we want you to go see your aunt in Baltimore. What aunt in Baltimore? Look at my lips. Go see your aunt in Baltimore. Understand? Well, that aunt's in Baltimore. Right, and we want you to stay there for 30 days, I mean. If you do, we let you off the hook. Yeah, sure, I could do that. For 30 days, I'm dying to see that aunt. In, in, in Baltimore? This can't be the place. Oh, Doug, you gotta be kidding. We got a lot of stuff. Be careful, be careful. Come on, man. This thing is crazy. All right, but it's done. Be careful, be careful. Start it. Don't shove me. Start it. Come on. Oh, oh. Ah, sorry. Sorry. Be It's really filthy. Filthy? This is your desk here, right here. Mm. Hey, who's that? The bust of Jaime's mother dusted off and make friends. So this is where we're going to be, huh? Shut up. Hey, you think this is great? Wait till you see what I got for you back here. Come on. Ernie, esto es una porqueria. 40 days and 40 nights in a porqueria. Oh! Really nice. Oh, sure. <laughs> well, it's a good little fixer-upper. Gang, there's room for junior league highlights. Wow! 
elephants could meet here. <laughs> Where are we going to put the camera? Ah, I thought you would never ask me, dear. Oh, my room. <laughs> two-way mirror. Yeah. And it raises up. Oh, that's nice. And that's where the camera goes. Louise, is it going? Yes, it's going. You go. Wait a minute. Wait yeah. a minute. Is it okay? You sure? Yes, yes, it's going. She's said Okay, right. Down. Okay. Now what? Well, go. What do you mean, what? That's how you talk to a customer. What? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, are you selling something, sir? No. This box right here. Okay. Well, I'm buying something. Go. I'll uh, give you a thousand dollars. And you can meet my sister. You got it. But I don't recommend it. <laughs> now, my brother. Get out of here. <laughs> Come on. Let's see how it came out. Okay. Come on. Louise, we're coming in. Louise, how we do? Yeah, Hello. tell it. Oh, hey, I'm a star. Yeah, with no sound. What happened? Yeah, Louise, I was talking. Why are you talking? I don't understand it. You see, the needle was moving. I, it must be something wrong with the microphone. You're just going to have to talk louder. Louise, I thought you knew how to work this. There's no sound at all. Oh. Do you want to work it? Well, no, I can't work it. It's not mine. Barbara, you're going to have to pray. Hey, hey, somebody's coming. Look. Make him talk loud. Go on, go on, go on. Jaime? Wrong number. I made a mistake. No, no, you didn't make a mistake. Come on in. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm in. Yeah, you'll have to speak up. Yeah. Uh -huh. He um he doesn't hear too well. Oh. The war. The war? Vietnam? Memphis. No, Brooklyn. Oh. oh. Where's Jaime? Huh? Where's Jaime? Jaime. Ah, uh, he's away. Yeah. Uh, we're taking over. Have a cigar. <laughs> Thank you. What you got? They're stones. Louder. The war. Oh, stones! Very fine quality. I don't know. That one looks like it's been dead quite a while. What kind is it? 215. Uh, how much you want for those? 120. Huh? 125. You got it. I do? You do? Huh? What's your name? Pauline Albedecker. Albedecker. Why is he writing it down? Ask him. Why is he writing it down? Uh, records for the boss. Oh. Holly, huh? where'd you get them from? Rabinowitz and Sons on Spring Street. Spring, huh? Jaime never wrote that down. Well, why do you think they call us organized crime? Huh? Oh, thank you. Nice doing business with you. Come again. I said it's nice doing business with you. Tell all your friends about us, huh? I will. And I'll tell them to holler. Arrivo, Dutchie. No, thanks. I'm Dutch. We're in business. Doug, why so much? We could have gotten in retail for that. We want them coming back for more. Let's see how it came out. Come on. What you got? They're stole. Louder. The war. They stole. Very fine quality. Louise, you screwed up the sound again. Why are you shooting the back of Doug's head, Louise? That's a great picture of me. Where's the guy? Well, it's only the first day. I have to get used to the equipment. Well, that stains. Only person we have evidence on is me. I don't understand it. You people say you know what you're doing, and you don't. Hold it, fellas. We're out of line. Louise, we apologize. What do you want us to do? Come again. I said it's nice doing business with you. Here. If you will just stand on these, these tape marks. All right. All right. Everything will work out perfectly. Oh, that's fine. That's yeah. easy. In other words, we stand here, the bad guy stand there. Uh -huh. We've we'll another disaster. We won't have another disaster. I have the sound worked out beautifully. We don't have to yell anymore. We don't have to yell anymore. Just stand on the tape. Way to go. Uh, All right. right. OK, so where's your carpet, Tony? What's it to you? Oh, well, I want to know. That's all. If I tell you, you tell somebody else. Somebody Going. Tony, 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 we've got to keep records because we got to know how to move, move this stuff. What the hell was that? Uh, Hitman. Yeah, 
Pretend you didn't see her. Uh, they get edgy. Pitman, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's the uh, it's the women's lib thing, you know, Tony. It's getting a little out of hand. Hey, Tony, come here. Don't tell nobody our hitman is a woman, okay? Jennifer. What's the matter with you? You think I'm stupid? Tony, now just for the record, where'd you cop it, huh? Collins Avenue, 79th Street. Hey, you know what I'm Nice to open. If I don't have my snack, I get crouchy. Ay, mucho trabajo, poco dinero. Louise, let's go home, man. You feel my thing? I'm gonna die. Um. What do you think, Slim? I don't know. They ain't the Jew no more. I hear they the mob, man. They big time. You mean they got money? Yeah. I'll say we go in there, we taking a chance. Let's take a chance. Yeah. Okay, nice, nice. Well, good evening, boys. Can we help you? What? Oh, nothing, man. We're just looking for you. Hey, you! Move! Come on! Move! 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 Come on! All right, you, over there. Now, move. Move! Now, move! Move! You, away from the table! Now! Uh, now, fellas, look, just, just a minute. Okay, 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 okay. You, I tried, Louise, let him go. Who's Louise? He's Louise. Louise. Uh, hmm. Jesus Christ, look at all this money. Come on, get out here. Come on. 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 No, we can't blow our cover. We almost got killed. I had them covered. I could have blown them away. They almost blew us away. People, we did the right thing. They got $300. 365 It's the principal. Oh, my boy. Wait. Wait a minute. What we need is some security. What? Security. Give me $100. Why? 
Give me a hundred dollars. Good thing they didn't get this. Yes, that's what I want. That's marvelous, but your prices are ridiculous. Look, will you give me a break? There's training, shots, food, newspapers. What can I get for a hundred dollars? Get out of here. No, really. You're killing me, but come on. Oh. oh. Ah, boy. Well, I give up. What is it? It's a watchdog. <laughs> the poor thing. He looks like he needs a watchdog. You paid a hundred dollars for that. I gave a hundred fifty dollars for that. Oh well, I guess the extra fifty was for the fleas. <laughs> Come on, don't make fun. He doesn't have papers, but he's a trained killer. He is. Well, he looks so gentle. <laughs> They're beautiful, aren't they? Oh, yeah. no. How many you got of these? I got the uh, gross. The dog. How much you want for these? A dollar a piece. A dollar? That's right. The ninety dollars are gross. Ninety dollars. Right, sir. They're toys. They're not toys. They... Now, if you keep looking at them, there he goes, looking at me again. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, that's good. Sid, open. Oh my goodness. Are you all right? Uh -huh. Don't turn around. Uh -huh. Don't, no, don't. Don't turn around. Wait. You got? Chickens. <laughs> okay, Colonel Sanders, let's see the chickens. Give me a good price and I'll throw in the band. Well, now, how many are we talking about? 350. No shit. There'll be plenty of that in these. <laughs> well, you cook very good evidence. Oh, it's good. Hot chicken. Hot chicken. Oh, hot chicken. Oh, that's good. Right. Right. So, hey, what have you got today? Buzz Buster. No shit. Well, it's better than Kojak. Sixteen in one day. I'm impressed. But they, they they don't seem to be looking at the camera too much. Yeah, you're right. Guys, I think I have an idea. <laughs> well, there it is. Don't look like much. But they pay top dollar. They're the boys. Oh, now remember what I told you. Speak up. Why? Because you're dead. Oh. I'm the main man! Take that stuff right down there. I brought some friends. Well, hi there. All right, speak up. Hi! My main man, we've got... Hold it. Hold it. You don't have to hold it anymore. Huh? I can hear now. Okay. Yeah, he's cured. It's a miracle. Wonderful. What is it's wonderful? You mean you hear what I can say right now? Yep. Can you hear what I'm saying now? Perfectly. <gasps> you know, I had an uncle like that once who was just about as deaf as... Oh, Paulie. Paulie. Huh? What, what 
what you got in the box. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you're never gonna guess. <laughs> Burglar alarms. <laughs> you come back now, you hear? Thank you. Who's in charge here? Oh, hello. What can I do for you? Lieutenant Carley, organized crime unit, main office. And now it's your turn. Ah, uh, I'm Miss Stiglitz. <laughs> and I'm Sister Mary Ginsberg. What's your business here, Mr. Stiglitz? Uh, we buy and we sell. Oh, that's so. And what do you buy? Oh, uh, whatever, whatever they bring in. Oh, like, uh, stolen property? No. No, listen, we're legitimate businessmen. Oh, in that case, let me have the great pleasure of shaking the hand of an honest man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have to tell you the truth. We had a tip that this was a fencing operation. Fencing? No. What? No, uh, we don't understand. Oh, well, then I'll make it clear. You see, I was sent over here to make a report out on you people. You don't mind if I take a look around? This place looks a little uh, dirty. Well, Lieutenant, what's it going to take to get a clean bill of health? Well, I have to consider all those valuable men in my squad. A thousand a week? That seems fair. Mm. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's easy. This is a heavy burden we bear. <laughs> this is true. It's yes, true. <laughs> it certainly is. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. That's a fine-looking dog you have there. Pet him. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, pet him. No, thanks. I need this hand for tomorrow's pickup. <laughs> Top of the morning to you. Louise, did you get that son of a bitch? Just like in Candid Camera. His fat ass is fried. Good. What do you want, kid? I hear you buy stuff. Yeah. Want to buy a dog? No, we've already got a dog, see? This is a good dog. Is he your dog? No. Where'd you get him? I stole him. You want to buy him? No, we've already got one. Get him out of here. Hey, how much you want from him? A hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. Do you know it's against the law to sell anything that you stole? Yes. And do you know that you can go to jail for that? Yes. Do you? Yeah. And is that what you want? No. I want a hundred dollars. And what are you gonna do with a hundred dollars? Buy something to eat for my baby sister. Where's your mother? In the bar. And where's your father? I don't know. What's your name? Louis Foster. Hi. Oh, uh, why don't you just uh, take that and go on? Thanks. Thanks a lot. Come on, Lulu. You know, it's a good thing you're retiring soon. You're very emotional in your old age. Huh? Uh. And you buy goods. That's right. Can we help you with something? The name's Carmine. I got something for you. I give it here. I give it here free. Yeah, what's that, Carmine? Advice. Clothes. 
kind of like it here. It's a nice neighborhood. Good customer. You know me? You know who I am? Yeah, you want to buy old clothes. You're from Goodwill, ain't you? You just said your name was Carmen. Carmine. Hey, you're going to be funny. Don't be funny with my name. You know, you're spreading it around town at your family. You're using a reputable name to enhance your new acquisitions. That, that ain't healthy. Mm. You'll be a Fantalina, right? How'd you know? Because you're the only garfoon's dumb enough to try to muscle in on John Meninas. John Meninas? <laughs> He's a boss, a boss. He don't operate in Florida. We're expanding. That's right. We're thinking about franchise. Like McDonald's? McDonald's? Yeah. You know, you guys could be hanging from the big M. You know what I think? A, you ain't family. And B, if you ain't, we're gonna come right back here and show you guys what a Big Mac attack is really like. Don't bullshit me. What's the matter with you? I don't smoke. Oh, and I'm gonna look into what you said about John Moninas. Yeah, do that. I will, Skinny. I'll be back. Back. Well, bring more troops next time, Carmen. Oh, uh, I will. Let's get out of here. Oh. Oof! Oh! Take it easy. I'm just looking to sell it. Oh! Uh, uh, does it work? Sure it works. You want me to shoot that dog? No, no, uh, no. You ever use it? A couple of times. Hey, come on. Be straight with me. Somebody gets picked up with this, they're gonna get hit with a murder rap, right? And what do you think I'm looking to dump it for? Hey, you guys family? Yeah, yeah. Maybe you can use a head guy. Maybe. Got plenty of experience. Oh, yeah. Oh, well then, you got a resume? You, come on, we'll, well, do you mind filling out an application? You mean, it's like a contract? Yeah, like a contract. So you stole it around here, huh? Oh, that's nice. It's new, too. Oh, uh, hello. Hello. Excuse me. Hold this for me a minute, darling, yeah? Uh, can I help you? Uh, I I'm just looking. I'm looking for an anniversary present. Maybe you could help me? Oh, uh, no, uh, no. Lady, look. I I'm looking, I'll look, I'll find. And when I find, I'll call you. Don't be so nervous and don't be in a hurry, OK? This is nice. Maybe, maybe. If it's a Westinghouse, that's for sure. Ah, we can't sell you that. What do you mean you can't sell me that? Well, you see, we don't sell, we buy. She doesn't sell, she buys. <laughs> <laughs> How much is it? $150. What are you, a Michigana? He's a Michigana. The price, $150. You're a Michigana, too. I'll give you $18.50. I'll handle it, lady. The price is $150. You take it or leave it. You know, you're the reason for birth control. All I know is I want to help the small businessman. I come here and look at the treatment I get. Ich darf von Zeit a All of you. Let me get my bag and let me get out of here. And I'll never, never shop in this store again. They don't even let you out of here. Hey, you reckon they're here to get the car washed? Our friend Carmen, that dirty son of a... Hey, Ramon, when did you see this man? <laughs> I say, young man. Yeah. 
Are you the authorized purchasing agent here? Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, yes, ma'am, I am. Would uh, you be in the market for a kilo of Colombian gold? Oh, yeah, sure. Sure, sure. Right over here. We buy gold, silver, Mexican art, whatever, you know. <laughs> no, no, young man. We're talking about something far more culture. Oh, yeah? What? Mary Jane. Bertie. Weed. What? Do. You know, pot. Pot? Oh, dope. You sell dope. The best. Colombian. Go Do take a hit. Uh, no, really. I can't. No, I don't know. Thanks. Anyway, no, really, now I'm allergic to fun. Oh, here, young man. Nah, I take your word for it, really. <laughs> nah, I'm cool. It's like a bottle of wine. One must sniff the cork before one buys. Nah, nah, I, nah, really. That's it, no. All right, Jaws. One more, but leave my fingers. Come on, come on. Yeah. Good boy. It's the best shit you're ever going to smoke. Good? <laughs> you made a piggy yourself, Jaws. Hi. Well, Sergeant, I got all your health food right Good. here. I've got you some yogurt. Thank you. Got a spoon? Spoon. Put it down your neck. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> got some cottage cheese? I'll have that later. out of town. Dominic sent us. I was told you buy goods. What do you got? Whoop. Don't want to mess up your suit now. What are you afraid of a little piece of paper? Cojonula. Beautiful. Beautiful. Think you can handle it? Yeah, sure. How many you got? Carload. Hey, Doug. Yeah. Look at that. What are you asking for these? 80 apiece. 80 apiece. 
M76 submachine gun, 9 millimeter. 177 rounds, which can be fired in less than eight seconds. I'm talking. Son, that gun right there would revolutionize Kuma. You interested? Yeah. Sure. Sure, bring him in. Oh, I don't understand. We don't just ride around delivering these things. I told you. We got a... What are you laughing at? Just bring him in here. I told you, we got a carload of them. You want them? You got to come get them. Okay. You got a deal. We'll take them. No, we'll take you to the guns. Six tomorrow. A.M.? Yep. Yeah. yeah, we'll pick you up. My nose is itchy. That means trouble. Something smells fishy. It's the chickens. Would you do me a favor? Next time you make a buy, would you get me some china cups? You get over here. You know, maybe we should get a backup. Look, it's just another buy. Don't come in too close, OK? Don't worry about us. <laughs> He's ready. Jeez. Just speak into your chest hairs, please. Oh, let me, let me. Oh, you're there. And they're at the back door, too. Okay, I'll get it. Ramon, get the over there. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. sorry. You got it? Thank you. Got it. Morning, boys. Shall we go? I couldn't have done better myself. This is some housing project. Boy, look at those condominiums. Ernie, that's an erector set. Get out of here. Come on, up this way. Three crates packed four to a crate. That's two hundred fifty thousand five hundred and sixty dollars. Let me see that. 
You realize that right now you're the third most powerful nation in the world? Boys, that is a lot of guns. That is $250,560. Can you take me as the charge? <laughs> Seeing the weapons. Now let's see your money. Okay. All right. Hey, go to the Talk to my friend a minute. Take it easy, man. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, Louise? Ramon? What do you think, Charles? You want to know what I think? No. We're going to take them. Well, just how are we going to do that? Gold and silver. Uh -huh. Ready? Yeah. Ah, uh, excuse me just a minute. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Uh, you take gold. Sure. How about silver? Yeah, what's the piece? Mm, a badge. Drop your gun! Ah! You drop your gun, Scott! Oh, what? shot 80 rounds yet? What the hell are you asking me that for? Well, if he shot 80 rounds, 120 more rounds, then we can rush him. Get out of here. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> These guys don't shoot very well. Is he? 
You okay? I am now, Mama. What the hell's going on here? I'm trying to go to the bathroom. Oh, go shit in your Gasoline. You know where you could have wound up? Oh, my whole life flashed up on that train. Well, I imagine it did. It was terrible. I'm glad it wasn't me out there. Oh! Sorry. That's okay. Bitch. Well, son, what you got there? Some hot yo yo's? You want to stand there and be funny, or do you want the package? We want the package. What's in it? I don't know. Man told me to give it to you. Oh, well, here. Thanks for your trouble. There's your dime. You sure you can spare it? Get out of here. Oh, fish. That's the car mine. Yeah, that's the family. Mafia. Yep. That's their way of saying that we're going to be sleeping in the ocean. Well, if they think they're going to scare us into closing, they got another thing coming. Yeah. Got news for you. We are closing. What are you talking about? Mina? You mean What? We're finished, kaput, out of business, finito. What are you talking yeah. about? Well, how much money we got left? $126.37. Impossible. You gotta be kidding. Have I lied to you about money? <sighs> well, what are we gonna do now? It's a shame to waste it. Listen, Doug, uh, I think I've got an idea.
happy that you all could come. Last night, we got a tip about a fence who had just bought 50 hot television sets. That's great. At the same time, three other precincts were getting tips about stolen jewelry. Wonderful. About motorbikes. Oh, nice. And other household items. That's terrific. That is entrapment. <laughs> the selling of impounded goods. That's what it is. Improper use of federal funds. And damn it, I want to know what's going on. Captain, we ran out of money. And we had to sell all those things to stay in business. Uh, see, by, by selling our excess inventory, we generated enough revenue to keep going for another 10 days. We got 171 on tape. Fine, as long as it's legal. Did you say 171? Get out. Get out. And, and remember, no more selling. That's a direct order. Yes, sir. 171. Gentlemen, have I got a deal for you. Sixteen boxes of the finest Cuban cigars, up in number ones. Would you mind checking me for a hernia? I think I hurt myself. <laughs> Say Cuban? Cuban, that's right. Well, I like you. Tomorrow at noon, you may climb me. <laughs> come on, he ain't that short. Oh, yeah? Well, then how come he spent last month dangling from my car mirror? <laughs> right. How much you want for him cigar? Well, they're normally $80 a box. Uh, four bills cover the whole thing. Four bills? Okay with me. Sounds good. Well, for me, made yourself a deal. Looks like a mouthpiece for a Chinese boxer. Can you call a They're good. <laughs> Little Orphan Annie in Florida. <laughs> Mickey Mouse with yellow jaundice. <laughs> Get out of here. A naval disaster. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Talk about horny. Horny, <laughs> we got to keep all these records. Yeah, sure. Doug? What? You know those cigars we bought today? Yeah. They're ticking. Joker! He works for Combine! It's a bomb! Why are we discussing Open it? Open the door! <laughs>
Uh, I have reached my limit. Decide I'm driving. I'll have it. <laughs> you. One oh. more piece, you look like the Pillsbury Doughboy. Oh, that's mean. So tell them. We got a warehouse full of evidence. Got them all on tape. How do we bust them? Well, we got their addresses. Why don't we just pick them up? No, wait a minute. Why don't we let them come to the store and we hit them one by one? We'll only get a couple that way. The rest of them hear about it, they'll split. That's right. You're right, John. We need to bust them all at once. Sure. How? That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Why don't you give them a nice party? <laughs> <laughs> looking at me for? All I said was give him the party. Well, Mom, a marvelous idea. Hey, have hey, your have party in a way. Hey, 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 oh, good evening, Jack. Hi. Oh, how great. <laughs> Hi. We can hear now. Hey, Duke, you can make it. I'm glad. You're looking good. You too. Yeah, you like it? It's new. Burdine's. It's on sale. $39.50. I'll pick up one tomorrow. Yeah, but before you go in there, leave your hog leg with us. The boss gets a little nervous. You want me to feel naked? Nah, come on, the boss, come on. Ah, what the hell, it's a party. <laughs> now, you all go on inside and have yourself a good time. Any word on my application? Oh, you're gonna hear tonight for sure. Good, thanks. You're welcome. shortly. <laughs> smoke that stuff, I gained six pounds. Maybe later, Polly. Wanna see it or wanna see it? Godfather, felicitations. Wanna see it? Godfather. Hey, he was a war baby. What? You see, when, when Italy invaded Ethiopia, Red's Excuse us. It's very complicated. Should we go in now, boss? Not yet. Let him get good and ripped. 
street a happy party to remember until you get out. <laughs> Hardy, what are you saying? I'm saying that we're police officers and you're under arrest. <laughs>
breaking loot on you. Send the Marines. Don't turn around. Turn around. <laughs> Ketchup. Uh, uh, don't ruin uh, my jacket. Uh, uh, oh, I don't know if it's going to come out. Oh, it's brand new ketchup stains. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Oh, thanks for all your help. Sorry it turned out this way. My dear, it was the best party. <laughs> hey, you guys saved our asses, and now we're sending yours up. What are you worried about? And what you need to do is check with your lawyer. He's our lawyer. We'll be out in 24 hours. Bye. Huh? She's with me. Mm. Bye, my main man. Bye. Oh, boy, you got the beat shit out of you. <laughs> I'll see you around. Some kind of record. Hey, wait till the guys downtown hear about that. Well, we're really gonna miss you, aren't we? Are you really gonna miss me? Okay. Nobody's mm -hmm. going to miss the new assistant director for burglary task force, Lieutenant Ernie Fortunato. <laughs> Yeah, look, um, 
Now, you know, all this time we've, we've, uh, we've been working under slave conditions. And I just want to tell you, you're a hell of a cop. Sergeant, how would you feel about a little undercover work? How would you feel about taping it? <laughs> Get in. <laughs> Open that up. <laughs> okay, you kids. Now stop it. I mean it. The fun's over. It's time to go to bed. You're hot. 